want to talk about something very quickly. I've got this support beam all the way on the ground. Now, if you're in an area that doesn't have many termites or no termites, that's okay. Termites might be a problem. I think North America doesn't have many termites. That's why they can build log cabins straight on the ground. That's how you build log cabins. Just put logs straight on the ground. If you did that in Thailand, your log cabin's going to be eaten before you know it by termites. You can leave a piece of wood for one day and there's going to be termites underneath it. And I can show you examples all around the garden. So I'm going to lift up this support beam on posts, stumps. And that's pretty much going to be step five to building the floor. Now what I've done is I've just cut out a whole heap of these stumps. I need four for my first bit of floor. And there it is. It just has to be big enough to support your support beam nicely. They're about four inch in diameter. This started out at four and a half inch. It's now about four inch for the smallest pieces. And it doesn't have to be very high. You just need to get the support beam off the ground, although you can make it as high as you want. The higher you make the stump, the fatter it should be to be more stable. That's okay. What you need to do, there are two ways to put the stumps on. This is the first way, right at the very end. And for this version, you just need to, if it's round, you need to cut off a section long enough for that straight, fat joint to go onto. Or it can be smaller, but thereabouts. This log just happened to have a nice fat piece, so I don't need to cut it off, just like that. Now you need to make your normal fat joint here. And I've started the process, turned that around, I've made my cut. The cut can be deeper than required, but a centimetre deep, it doesn't matter if you're a bit deep. Let's make our fat joint, just like this. Make sure it's nice and straight. Doesn't have to be much at all. It's about a centimetre or so, nice and straight, even a bit less. There, let's clean that up. That's not too bad. And that is just going to sit like that. And that's why you need that flat section here to go up nicely. Bang, you've got yourself one stump. Get that straight. Let's go to the other side, get another stump. If your ground's on a slope, you can make these longer, put the longer one on the lower end, stuff like that, little tricks to make things nice. What I'll do, I'll turn this around to make it easy at the camera. The second way to do your joint is to come in from the end, like a three, four inch pole is going to support or span quite a distance, but if you come in from the edge, that's always an option. Make sure the joint's nice and straight. Of course, it's got to be nice and level. You can do it here. For this version, you don't need to cut off any flat portion. You keep it round, that's okay. We're going to do it here. 45 degree angle cuts. Not much in. About a centimetre, thereabouts. Make sure it's going to be long enough. Down to the fat portion. Where the 45 degree cut ends, that's where you want to measure it. Not on the top cut, but the bottom cut where it ends. 45 degrees in. Just knock it out. Just like that. Make sure it's clean, nice and flat. It's going to sit there like that. So that's the second way to do the support. Straight in, make a flat level area, bang it in. See our stump right there. I'll get up close and show in a second. The other one on this end. Now you can see how the whole pole has been raised up off the ground. There's going to be less termite activity and now I've got a small area where I can inspect for termite activity. You're not going to stop termites. I've got a final trick up my sleeve for termites. The best thing is to get pieces of metal, tin lids, biscuit tin lids, sheets of metal, that's a ceramic tile, bathroom tile, bits of um, weatherboard, the um, fibre cement sheeting, anything the termites won't eat, 
So you can see that's a piece of the weatherboard I'm talking about, like that. I don't think termites are going to eat like fibre cement. Straight underneath, like that. That's going to stop termites, but most importantly, termites will have to bridge it with a clay tunnel. And that's what you can see. You're not going to stop termites, but if you just inspect your floor every now and then, if you see the clay tunnels coming around, you can clean them away, and if you want to spray, you can spray. But at least I've now got a nice inspection opening, or inspection point, where I can see termites coming up to my wooden floor. And that's also why I'm not going to attach my floor boards down to the support beams. I'm going to keep it loose so I can take them off and inspect the timbers every now and then. Let's put the other one on here. And now if I get up close, you'll see how that looks. You can see the flat joint nicely on the stump with, with a barrier and the termites can't come through it. They've got to come around it with a clay tunnel, which you can see and clean away if they come around. And you do that same thing for anything you make. There's my bed, and you can see the weatherboards, tiles under each leg, and a steel, it was like a biscuit tin lid, just like that, for all four. And that's how you stop termites. Well, don't stop them, but you can prevent termite damage. And now the majority of the support beams nicely off the ground and I've got this one. The second method is in from the end and you can see that's the sort of cut that I've got. Planed out a flat portion. You can do it both by having the stumps in from the end. You might get a better span, better support. So there it is. I put four stumps underneath my support beams. Let's put my floor back on. There it is guys, the floor's done. A final touch might be to put two stakes on both sides at the ends of these support beams, just to stop them from rolling, make it a bit more stable. I've got, now I've got a floor, I'm up off the ground, and with the stumps you can see I've got a nice gap between the support beam and the ground. I can now inspect for termites, the only place termites can come up is through um, those clay tunnels, dirt tunnels, around my um, end caps. Alright guys, we'll get our floor done. Just like that. Let's sit back down. Too easy. I hope you found it interesting to make the floor, and I'll see you next time.